Hello, cat enthusiasts and art aficionados. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of facts. Today, we're delving into the captivating life of Louis Wayne, the cat-obsessed Victorian artist. Stick around as we uncover seven intriguing facts about the man who left an indelible mark on the art world with his whimsical feline creations. Louis Wayne, born in 1860, was much more than just a cat lover. As the oldest of six children and the sole son, Wayne initially supported his family as an art teacher and newspaper artist. His early works featured not only cats but also animals and country scenes, including our beloved canine friends. While Wayne didn't always draw cats exclusively, he became renowned for illustrating an astonishing number of feline friends. Estimates range from 150,000 to over a quarter of a million cats. From rainbow-colored to anthropomorphic, Wayne's artistic prowess knew no bounds. Not only did Wayne draw cats, but he also cared for them. At one point, he had a family of 17 cats who served as his ever-present models. His beloved companion, Peter, a black-and-white kitten, played a significant role in both Wayne's personal life and artistic career. Louis Wayne was not just an illustrator, he was also a pioneer in animation. Before Walt Disney introduced iconic characters, Wayne created Pussyfoot, considered by some as the first animated cat. Despite premiering before Felix the Cat, Pussyfoot's cinematic success was modest. Wayne had some eccentric theories about cats. Among them was the belief that cats carried an electric charge, with their behavior influenced by positive or negative poles of the earth. His unique perspectives on feline behavior added an extra layer of intrigue to his already captivating art. Life took a tragic turn for Wayne, marked by personal misfortunes, a bus accident, and violent behavior. Following these hardships, he was declared insane in 1924 and committed to Springfield Mental Hospital. Theories about his mental health, ranging from schizophrenia to autism, continue to spark debate among scholars. Examining Wayne's later works raises questions about his mental state. Some scholars argue that signs of his psychosis can be seen in his art, particularly noting a change in his cat illustrations from 1914 onward. Join the debate as we explore the relationship between Wayne's mental health and his artistic expression. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the enigmatic world of Lewis Wayne. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more captivating content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the intriguing facts that shape our world.